Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we work on subfiltering the items. As you can see, I already have some items in my inventory and when I open my equipment system and click on a slot, we have the item filtered by the subslot type. For demonstration, I also have the banana as the head item and the watermelon as an bottom item. And that's it. Let's begin. Let's start by going into the content browser, right clicking and adding a new structure. This one will be called equipment settings. Create a new enumeration and this one will be E underscore equipment slot. Open this up. Add some enumerators and the first one will be default. Then add left hand and right hand. And then the head, chest and bottom. Open the equipment settings and inside here we want to have our equipment slot. After that, you can add a new variable, which will be our socket, where we attach the weapon or the, yeah, the mesh. And then we will have three more variables called location, rotation, and scaling. Make it all a vector. And then you can just simply open your item data. Inside here, we want a new variable, which will be our equipment settings. So type in equipment settings. We use this for all equipment related things. So we can later also save the stats that the uh, meshes give to the player in here. But for now, this setting will be enough. After we added something to the item data in my system, when you use it, you want to make sure to go to the master item. So search for the uh, BPA master pickup item, this one here. And inside here, you see that we have a new slot that we want to fill. Like this, just compile and save. Go to your content browser and then open the AC inventory. Inside here, I want to have a new function which is called get filtered items by equipment slot like this. As an input, we can make this here a bit bigger and then we get the equipment slot enum that we have like this. Then we want to have the inventory inside here and we also want to create a local variable which will be our local inventory, which represents the filtered inventory that we get out of here. So you can move this to the right. We don't need it at the moment. Or well, yeah, we need the inventory, not the local. So we get now from the inventory a for each loop so that we go to all the items that are in the inventory. And we want to break here. Now we want to get our equipment settings to break this one also so here you can hide all the others so that we only have the equipment settings now we want to check if this one is equal to the one that we're giving in like this after that we have just simply a check if this is true and if it's true we can get the local inventory and we can add our item to it and as the item we want to add the array element that's coming here from the inventory after the loop is completed we just want to return the local inventory like this you can rename this to filtered inventory next up we open our widget so go ahead and search for your equipment widget, this one. And here in the open filtered items method, we want to 
add something. So here, scroll to the right, update items to show. Instead of giving the inventory in, we want to get the newly created method or function. This one. Oops. Oh my bad. I went a little bit too deep to get here the function. And then as the slot, we pull this into the open filtered and you can move it here a little bit down. Get some more space. You can also remove the target here. Like this and like this. After you have done this, we can go to the event graph and here under the uh, calling method, we just simply change the slots to the corresponding part that we are clicking. Like this. And then we go to the content browser again. We search for our items, for our weapons. And I will use here the sword, for example, as an example, I go here, say the equipment settings, this one will be the right hand and other settings can be as they are. So we only need the equipment slot for this test. And we go back to here. You can play and test, pick some items up. In my example, I need the sword. So we can see I have two, three thwarts in my inventory. I press T, I go to right hand and you can see we have here the swords. When we click into the other equipment slots, we can see no items in here. So yeah. While playing, I saw a small bug. Let me show you this one. So when I pick some items up and I open the right hand, for example, and I press T again, you can see that this yeah, widget will be still in here. So for this to be removed, you need to be again inside here and click somewhere. But yeah, that's not the best way. So let's fix this. First thing I want to do for this to be fixed, I want to add a custom event and I call this on close. And what I want to do on close is I want to check if this is valid the filtered items reference widget and if it's valid I want to have a function in here this one or not this one but I want to have a custom event on close that does the same and you don't have to make the L upper like I do and just simply make it a small L in here also like this and here we want to say on close so we go from here to the filtered items and we close it and now what we want to do is we want to go to the equipment where we open the equipment this part here and here we create the widget and here at the top we remove the widget so here we can say at the end we get the equipment ref and we say on close that should be it you can press play go to the equipment widget open the and press t and you can see i can normally play now for testing purpose, let's go uh, to the inventory and to the items. And let's say here under not armor, let's say consumable and the banana will be for testing purposes only will be a hat item. Well and save and the watermelon will be the bottom part like this so that we can actually see that everything works. Pick some watermelon, swords, and bananas up. Press T. And here we can see the banana. We see the watermelon. 
and we see the sword. But make sure to remove it again when you're further in the tutorial. So yeah, that's everything for this video. In the next one, I'm not currently sure what I will be doing first. One way would be first the equipping, or maybe I would first show the character screen in here so that we can then see what we're equipping. So I'm not currently sure what I will do next, but you will see it in one week. See you then. Bye.